Hello and welcome to the Global Church Project. I'm Graham Hill. Lisa Rodriguez Watson serves as the co-founder of a grassroots organisation committed to mobilising Christians to love their undocumented neighbours. She challenges Christians to consider appropriate, Christ-honouring responses to immigration. Lisa Rodriguez Watson has served as an urban church planter, college minister, seminary professor and international missionary. Her heart is to see people reconciled to God and to one another, and she's invested her life and her family and her ministry in places and people that have often been overlooked by the world. Lisa Rodriguez Watson, welcome to the Global Church Project. Oh, thank you. It's nice to be with you. You've thought a lot about the immigration of populations globally and in the US. Mm. Is it a big problem today? You know, today um, there are about 232 million people mm. worldwide who don't live in their country of origin. So the migration mm. of human people um, is an issue today and I think will continue to be an issue as time goes on just, mm. just by sheer population numbers alone. Mm. What's the number of the authorised and unauthorised um, immigrants into the US today? So we have about 38 million immigrants living mm. in the US. Um, about 11 and a half to 12 million of them are here mm. unlawfully. Um, so not quite a third. Mm. Uh, and there are a variety of reasons why uh, they become undocumented or their status mm. you know, changes from either lawful to unlawful or perhaps they just enter, mm. you know, coming in um, without authorized access. You say it's important for Christians to think about uh, migration of populations today. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important? Well, um, I think it's an issue mm. for Christians because our, God cares about it. We see it in the scriptures. And so our fidelity mm. to the scriptures requires us for us to think about this. Um, as a matter of faith and uh, an issue of our of our morality. Um, mm. um, I know that there's a range of biblical and theological principles that we can draw on as we think about God's love for and concern for migration uh, and for migrating populations. What are some of the biblical principles that are most important to you as you think about this issue? Mm -hmm. um, you know, in terms of what we would want to see for our immigrants um, here mm. in the U.S. and, and globally, I, I would think that every Christian should see immigrants as made in the image of God. Mm. We start at the beginning, and at the beginning mm. of the scriptures, we're told that all humanity is made in the image of God. Um, and so we begin there as believers, mm. um, not seeing them as an enemy or as a threat, mm. but as image bearers. And if we, if we mar the image of God, we do mm. him a serious um, disservice and we point a watching world to mm. a faith that doesn't actually reflect something that's you know that's scriptural and mm. biblical um, keeping families together you know the family is the is the mm. center of of culture and um, when we when we separate family members parents from children mm. and children from siblings mm. and and um, family members from one another, we break down the family. And mm. I think that that's contrary to God's design. Mm. What do you think it is that as human beings, we do tend to um, misunderstand or marginalize the other, mm -hmm. to make them the other? What do you think that that is part of our makeup? Hmm. It's a really good question. Um, I think that there is within us a desire you know we see it in the in the disciples even when um when we see them kind of bowing between themselves like who will be the greatest mm. and um in order for ourselves to feel like we are better than we can marginalize and we mm. we sometimes even demonize the other where we feel like mm. well if i'm going to be all of who i am then you must not be all of who you are mm. um and and that has a real negative impact um, um on us as well as the relationships that that we could have with mm. um, with our neighbors, with people mm. who are not just our neighbors, next yeah, door neighbors, yeah. but obviously um, neighbors across borders. Yeah. What do you think are some practical ways that churches and Christian organizations can respond to this issue? There's an acronym that I've come across and um, the word is please mm. and uh, the P would represent prayer and as mm people of 
faith, um, we're called to pray and ask God for wisdom in knowing how mm. to respond to, um, to the issues that face our countries um, around immigration and ask God for wisdom, you know, uh, what, mm. what would he have us do? How would, we, how would he want us to respond? Um, the second is listen, mm. and we're called to listen to our immigrant brothers and sisters, and even mm. those who we might not consider brothers and sisters um, in our faith. Listen to them, learn from them. What what is it like in their day to day lives? Mm. How can mm. we help support? Um, what are some ways that we can come alongside and encourage, mm. and and truly be a neighbor? The E is to educate, educate mm. ourselves. Um, not very many Christians globally are asking the question: What does my faith have to say mm. about immigration? Mm. Um, how I love either people who are coming past my border or to our shores, um, we might see it as a political issue, but we might not see it as, as a, a Christian issue. Mm. And so we've got to educate ourselves, um, both biblically and politically. Uh, the A would represent advocate. And in many instances, it's, it's our duty, it's our call to mm. use the, the power that we have um, as citizens of our respective countries to advocate for, for mm. moral and just laws mm. that, would, um, that would make it more sustainable and mm. um, easier, I suppose, for immigrants to be in our midst. Yeah. Um, something that would, would more consistently reflect the heart of God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, S is for serve. And that's something that everyone can do. We can, we can make a friend. We can find a way to connect someone um, to learning the language of our country, to accessing um, systems that would help them thrive in our communities, um, you know, groceries or transport or, or whatever the case may be. Serving is something that everyone can do. And lastly is evangelize. Um, so many immigrants are people of faith and maybe many are also people of the christian faith um so we we should see them as our brothers and mm. sisters however there are a big number who are not mm. and this is our opportunity to be the church mm. and to to share with them the greatest story ever told to share mm. with them the beauty of um, of the cross and of salvation lisa thank you for joining us at the global church project sure it's been a pleasure thanks thank for you. giving me this chance You've just watched an abridged version of this interview. For the full interview, plus resources for churches and colleges and universities, please visit www.theglobalchurchproject.com. I look forward to your company next time. From me, goodbye.